Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. This is Eric, and today talking about Gregory Santos. And this story is a little bit old, so I apologize. It took me some time to get to this, but this is pretty bad news for the Giants. You know, a pretty talented relief pitcher who has already appeared for the Giants three times this year. In his first appearance, he looked electric, very exciting. And then, for some reason, Kapler and the management started sitting him out in very critical situations, late game situations where he did not pitch well and we lost a couple of games. I don't completely blame him. I kind of blame the management for sending out a guy with only one big league appearance under his belt in very critical situations. I didn't agree with that and it didn't work out, but okay. Anyway, this guy has been with the Rivercats. He hasn't been pitching that great, but we've seen his stuff. So still someone we've been keeping an eye on and now He's been suspended 80 games for a PD violation. We're not going to be seeing him anytime soon, perhaps not again. We'll have to wait and see next year if he's still with the system. But the Giants lose Gregory Santos probably the rest of the season, certainly the rest of the season. And the hard-throwing righty who debuted earlier this year has been with AAA Sacramento since getting optioned. He tested positive for Stanozolo, okay, a performance-enhancing substance that violates MLB's drug policy. The league announced Tuesday, and he has received an 80-game suspension without pay. And the San Francisco Giants are disappointed that Gregory Santos has violated the terms of MLB's drug prevention and treatment program, resulting in his suspension. The Giants organization fully supports MLB, blah, blah, blah. Statement, obviously, Giants are saying, hey, okay. That's what it is. Apparently, he failed the test. He had uh, this in his system, Stanozolo, so he's going to be out, and that is that. So we will move on. Santos, who had a fastball that touches triple digits and a nasty slider, and that's what I was talking about. We saw it in his first appearance. We said, this dude, if he can just kind of hone his stuff, uh, this dude could be disgusting. This dude could be nasty. This could, dude could be a legit, you know, late-inning reliever for us. But now I wonder... Is the Stanozolo hitting triple digits or was Santos hitting triple digits? I don't know. But anyway, he did appear in three games and uh, they sent him back. And, you know, he didn't have much control. He's been wild in Sacramento as well. Nine walks and 15 and two-thirds. But uh, this is a crushing blow. He's only 21 years old. Keep that in mind. And uh, that opens another spot on the 40-man roster, of course. So we'll see what happens here, but Gregory Santos is on the restricted list, off the 40-man roster, won't be seeing him the rest of the year, and we may not see him again in the Giants organization because who knows, you know, something like this, you know, who knows, right? So we'll have to wait till next year and see. But uh, a little tough break there for the Giants, and I'm certainly not happy about it. And this is coming right after a live stream I just had where some Dodgers fan, I assume was a Dodgers fan, he seemed like one, but I'm not sure. But anyway, he kept on calling us Reuters and saying the Giants are all roiding and the Giants are on PDs. And I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? Like, I don't know if you're referring to Barry Bonds, who's been retired for the longest time. Um, and then the next day this happened. So if that guy shows up in my live stream again, I'm not going to hear the end of it. But anyway, another big story that caught my eye, I just wanted to touch on here. Not a big surprise, but usually you don't see players just make this kind of statement here before they hit free agency that they're definitely not coming back to their team, even though sometimes we can kind of guess that that's not going to happen either because of money, the team can't afford them, or because they're just not that great of a team. In this case, the Rockies, a team that's been losing for a while. Trevor Story is tired of losing. He is ready to move on, and he is basically saying he's not planning to re-sign with the Rockies. So Trevor Story is going to be a free agent and definitely not going to be coming back to Colorado. Trevor Story is widely seen as one of the top trade candidates in baseball. If the Rockies don't move him prior to the July 30th trade deadline, they reportedly can't count on him returning as a free agent for 22 and beyond. Story does not plan to re-sign with the Rocks when he hits the open market. I mean, that tells me right there, it actually helps the Rockies to know that there's no way he's coming back, so it would make sense to go ahead and trade him and get what you can. Now, they probably can't get as much because teams know that Trevor Story is not coming back. But then again, there's 29 teams. So, you know, if a team wants Trevor Story really bad, they're going to have to offer up some decent prospects. This is going to be pretty interesting. Obviously, the Giants are not really in the market for Trevor Story. We got Brandon Crawford having a career year. Um, we should have our third baseman, Evan Longoria, back very soon. We got other guys stepping it up. We got just a lot of infielders right now. So I don't think that Trevor Story is a... Uh, is going to be coming to San Francisco, especially because he's such a big-time player that we'd have to give up some serious prospects on top of the fact that we're already pretty good on the infield. But uh, no, Trevor Story should be getting moved. 
I would assume that the Rockies, it would be stupid not to trade him because he's not coming back, and obviously the Rockies are not going to be in the playoffs this season. It doesn't look that way. Right now, the West is the Giants, the Dodgers, and the Padres, and other than that, that's it. So the two sides hadn't discussed an extension according to um, story, though it isn't known if any negotiations took place during March or even beyond opening day. That said, the given amount of discussion that would go into working out a long-term deal well north of $200 million, the fact that the Rockies had yet to broach the subject even by late February of Story's walk year could be seen as a sign that the team was not counting on Story sticking around. I'm not sure what's going on in Denver, the way they're running that team. I just don't understand it. I don't understand the Arenado trade. I feel like they should have got a lot more. And, uh, you know, now you have a guy who's like, dude, I'm out. So, and the Rockies are not even in last place right now. Actually, the, the Diamondbacks are. But still, you know, the way that organization is being run does not seem that great. If you're a Rockies fan, let me know what you think. But, uh, yeah, it just doesn't look too good right here in Denver, what's going on. They really need to do something. But, frankly, it would be more surprising if Story did have designs on a return to Denver. I agree with that. I just thought, you know, most players don't come out and say, yeah, there's no way I'm coming back. Most players would be like, well, we'll see what happens. You know, give some kind of political, politically correct answer. Uh, but Story sounds like he's saying, I'm out. And uh, I'm pretty sure we all pretty much knew that. But him saying it makes it definite. He is out. He's not coming back to Colorado. The Rockies, if they keep him, will just lose him for nothing other than the qualifying offer. They might as well send him that qualifying offer, get a second round pick. But even better would be to go ahead and move him. So that's going to be interesting to see um, where Trevor uh, Story could move. I also heard he's going to be in the Home Run Derby this year. So if you're into that, check that out. Um, but uh, just a couple of, of stories I wanted to touch on there. Trevor Story not coming back. To the Rockies, should be moved at the trade deadline, and the Giants lose Gregory Santos forever, 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 or at least for the rest of this season. You guys have a fantastic day. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what you think of these two stories, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya. When the Giants come to town, it's fine. at all.